Good afternoon, everyone. Dear me, that was loud. Good afternoon, everybody. So, um, if you're a member of this community, the Open Recognition is for Everybody community, could you just raise your hand? There we go. There's a few people, thank you. The rest of you are going to join. Um, so, I'm here to tell you about something called Badge Wiki and something which we're doing with Badge Wiki. We've been fortunate to have some help from participate, so thank you for that. We've been maintaining Badge Wiki for quite a few years now, for about seven years, ever since we've had the co-op. And recently, we've done some work together with this community through some working groups. And we want to create this toolkit around open recognition. And what we're talking about today is version 0.1. And the reason that we want to do this is because we recognize that everybody in this room and beyond is coming at open recognition from a different angle. Some of um, pe the people in this room are absolute experts. And some people, it's the first time they've really ever heard of this concept. So we want to give people different paths and different ways into this. So all I'm going to show you today is really quickly where we're at and ask you to come and have a look, maybe use it, and maybe get involved with the, the development of it. So this is Badge Wiki. You can go to it just by going to badge.wiki on your, on your device. And when you go there, on the left-hand side, you'll see this link to the Open Recognition Toolkit. And if you click on that link, you'll be taken to this bit. And this doesn't look like much, but it's a, it's a way into the, the toolkit itself. So let me show you around that really quickly. There's different sections to it. So the first bit is about, I want to know more about open recognition. That just gives you an overview of what open recognition is and some kind of resources and some explanation. The second bit is if you want to be recognized yourself. So there's not loads of stuff out there for people who want to be recognized. It's usually for the people who want to do the recognition to other people. And that's the third section, the people who want to recognize others. And the fourth section is really just a place where we can dump resources. So if, if you click on this one here, um, I want to be recognized, it takes you to this section, including some wonderful imagery from Brian Mathers, who's a collaborator for our co-op. And it goes through different levels of recognition, some work that uh, Philippe did when we were in Denver together, um, some benefits of open recognition, and the different kinds of ways in which you might want to be recognized, the kind of things you'd want to be recognized for. So if you're, having, if some, if you're working with someone who's having trouble understanding why open recognition is a thing, this might be something you want to, to show them. If you want to get involved in the community behind this, then please do go to badges.community um, and have a look at that. I'll, I'll put the link on the screen for that in a moment. But also join us, like get involved in this work. You don't have to have any kind of knowledge or expertise. You just need to come along and have some enthusiasm. Um, and then if you want to give us some feedback, maybe you don't want to edit the wiki directly, you just want to kind of give some ideas, please do fill in that feedback form. Um, it's just a Google form where you can say some ideas. And also you might want to just tell us that you're using the Open Recognition Toolkit um, in the work that you're doing. So thank you very much to some of the people in this room and some people who couldn't make it today, the people who have come along to the working group meetings for this Open Recognition Toolkit. It's only been over the last three months when we've had a chance to work together on this. So if you're interested in this, you could scan the festive QR code. You could um, have a look and just see what's there. You can give us your feedback, but also you can get involved. And the best way to find out about this is to go to badges.community. That will link to the ORE community. It'll link to Badge Wiki and also to the ORT. Thanks very much. That's great. Thanks. So I think Doug gets the uh, elevator pitch badge. Nate, maybe we can work on it. <laughs> so that was uh, really good, w well in time. Um, that said, we're a little over in our section. I want to leave enough time for Julie to um, give her half an hour, because I think we're ending at quarter two, correct? Uh, I believe so, for the break. Um, so um, I, I just had a few slides, and again, it's my rant, my little journey here, but I also wanted to feature a couple of other things. Uh, so we'll just see what I have time for in about five minutes. So um, I've been going to these conferences for many years, as you know, and they actually began, the reason it's called EPIC, it was the ePortfolio and Identity Conference, okay? Because we started with the concept of ePortfolio as a way to show what you know and can do. And I was very much about ePortfolio, as I mentioned, that 2004, anyway. So um, that said, I think both Serge and I got really um, impatient. Uh, with e-portfolios as they were uh, administered, as they were rolled out by institutions. So you were talking about ventriloquist badges. I was thinking about sock puppetry in um, 
in ePortfolios. I, I will say what you want me to say so you will recognize me and I will, I will be able to pass this barrier. So um, that said, uh, let's just move forward here. Mozilla, oops, hang on. It seems to be moving by itself. Uh, let's not do that. Yeah, it was an uh, automatic transition there, I think. So basically to say when uh, Mozilla um, Foundation invented open badges back in 2010-ish into 2011, um, I was very excited by it because it, for me it was a bite-sized approach to ePortfolios, the concept of ePortfolio, much more accessible. Um, so that's, okay, so that's good. Okay, thank you. So um, in uh, 2015, Serge mentioned uh, Barcelona was, um, that was a sort of a, uh, a difficult conference for some of us, but for me, I was working with HPASS at the time, so I developed uh, sort of a slightly more complex version of um, the Mozilla napkin sketch. And basically, you know, some people said, you blew my mind, some people said, that's way too complicated. But what I see happening now is this is um, now coming to be. Um, and so my poster in the other room is going to show um, a different versions of this uh, that I'm showing you in, in detail on the slides. So a point I'd like to make is that it's not about courses. Um, 70, 20, 10 learning, most of the learning we do is totally unstructured. It's not organized. And so why, why do we pretend that we can uh, basically uh, make a course about everything? So it, it's kind of putting 70, 20, 10 on, it, on its ear to say that you can make a course about everything. So what I've developed, uh, somewhat working with Stella, this is a sort of a generic version of uh, something that Stella and I worked on, is a sort of a flexible spectrum of recognition that you would have the formal things over here. We mentioned certification, in other words, I'm ready to fill this role. We mentioned certificates, basically assess certificates, stuff people can fail. But there's a whole whack of stuff there that can provide value. Could be just completing a, a micro-learning course. It could be about uh, being part of a webinar, part of an event or a workshop. Could just be community recognition. We're working with uh, an organization called Team Democracy in the US right now that's recognizing leaders in, who are leaders in, in civics in uh, ways of being politely talking between Democrats and Republicans. <laughs> Honest. So, um, and then in the middle, I have this sort of crossover. The, the vertical uh, line is um, assessment, and you could have a demonstration of ability. So Eric was talking about um, badge application forms. Those are ways of putting together an evidence package to say, I have this thing. And either you just assert it by yourself or you submit it for somebody to validate for you. So, Serge talks about open recognition. I sometimes talk about opening up recognition, just getting a little beyond that simple take a course, get a badge that, that Stella was talking about. So I think I'll skip over this. These are just some examples of, uh, you know, types of things you can do that relate to 70, 20, 10, uh, just actual instances of learning, um, learning events. So, um, yeah, so this is something I did for the ITC ILO that I was working on with Elias, um, opening up recognition for them. They had a certification uh, set up. If you keep it going, that'd be great. Wow, that's backwards. That's weird. Okay. Anyway, it's a big ecosystem. Some of the stuff is unstructured. Some of the stuff is structured. Uh, we have the semantic web that's being talked about these days. And, and uh, AI, you're going to be hearing more about that tomorrow. This is kind of where it's going if you can read it backwards. OK? I think that's it. And uh, maybe, Julie, if you can get ready to come up here. I just wanted to leave you with this. This is just a bit of fun gamification. We talked about gamification. I think Doug is the one who's earned the, the virtual master quiz. You can just log on and uh, learn this with a bit of help from Google. And then if you um, go to the K&K &K Maria Teresa Hotel, you can see the first 
in a QR code journey, you can make your way to the social dinner on the 17th, but it's open right now. So if you, uh, there's a picture of it just in, in front of the hotel. <laughs> okay? So I'll, I'll leave you with that.